Hello again, welcome to today's attempt of a step to a puzzle. On this day in 1928, Maya Angelou was born, the American poet and civil rights activist. Uh, and so I'm going to be using some words from uh, some of her works as my starting guesses. Starting with Gather Together in My Name. Uh, that was one of her autobiographies. We will start with name. Oh, that's quite nice. Gives me the enemy E. Let's see if the answer is quite nice. Oh, it's not. So, are we going to have a U or an O in second? Because we're surely going to need a vowel. Um, node, perhaps. Ah, I've got the correct vowel, but the wrong consonant. Maybe just a simple nose. It could still be a P, I suppose, but that feels less likely. But actually now I don't know what else it could be. Oh, I thought of that ages ago. That is such an annoying hard mode trap. It, uh, node, nose, note, any of them could have been correct, but nope. Anyway, interesting pattern though, all greens. We will move on. I know why the caged bird sings. Perhaps her most famous work? So I will use caged. Wow. What a great starting word that's turned out to be. Now, is this going to be eager or bagel or something else? I don't know which of those is more likely. Let's try eager. I kind of hope it's bagel, but I thought eager was more likely. So that's a two. That's much better than the previous one. So uh, I will stop bemoaning my bad luck with the hard mode trap we got into. Um, a song flung up to heaven. So we'll go for heaven which might be a place on earth, but for today it gives me two letters, but no E. So let's see if we've got an ING ending. Let's see if we're going to be caring today. Wow. We at least have the A in the right position, so it could have been worse. What is the ending of this word going to be? That's what I always struggle with. I'm thinking blank A-N blank 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 but I mean there are so many options I okay this is this is not going to be correct let's see if it accepts fan Todd I don't know what this word means I just know it um, but it's too obscure to be correct but I'm hoping that it will give me some more information because it uses some really nice new letters that I haven't used yet Oh, and none of them are correct. We've still only got the A and the N. Wow. Is it, uh, it can't even be banana because we ruled out the N from being fifth. We could have a duplicated A or a duplicated N. Or we could get the U involved, but it can't be an F-U-L ending. Um. So what on earth are we going to be doing with the vowel situation? Could be an L-Y ending. Something like manly, but with an extra letter in the middle. Um, oh no, I don't know. A-N-N-A-L with a letter before it, something like that. Because as I said, we definitely could have a duplicated A. Or it could be manual. That's got a great chance of being correct, hasn't it? There we go. Brought out so many letters and I never tried the M, U or L. But eventually I had to. Right, we will end. These uh, three words all came from um, titles of her autobiographies. She wrote seven autobiographies, I think was on the list. But she also wrote a load of poet poems. And so we will end with one of them on the pulse of morning. We will go for morning. We do not have an ing ending, but the i is in the right place. So it could be an ium ending. Loads of chemical elements spring to mind. Cadmium would fit. But can I think of one that doesn't duplicate the m? Uh, I don't know if I can think of one. That's, that's the problem. Lithium. Lithium? Lithium is a possibility. Duplicating the I is probably a better shout than duplicating the M. Or calcium, duplicating the C. 
Uh, I'm going to go for calcium because it also uses the A. I think using an A rather than using the I and the U exclusively from the vowels is probably a better idea. And as it happens, it's not even an IUM ending, but at least we've got the L and the M. So we've made a little bit of progress. Now, where is that U going to be? Oh, it can't be ultimatum or anything <laughs> along those lines. Ultimate. And it can't be a UN beginning because we've ruled out the M. So maybe the U is not going to go in that position. Um, I-T-Y or I-S-H, those are definitely plausible endings. It feels like the start of the word is going to be something like that, because I, I, I think it's less likely. I mean, the U is definitely somewhere before the I. The L and the M theoretically could still be sick. I suppose it could be an ILY ending. What would have to be before that? Okay, this is not going to be correct, but it gives me a bit more information. Hopefully, jumpily. He acted jumpily. Oh, we still haven't got the M in the right place, or the L. At least we got the U correct, so it's probably the M is there. Now the L would have to be first or last, if that is the case. Now, what would the penultimate letter be if the L is last? I don't know. So it really feels like the L is going to have to be first. Or, I suppose, it could be that pattern, couldn't it? Because that would be sublime if it was correct. For one time, I don't test the S and the E, two of the most common letters, and it turns out I should have used them a lot sooner. Um, but in my defence, once we got the I and the M as for starting for, from the starting word, um, I just went down a completely different route from using I's and E's, or S's and E's rather. Anyway, got there in the end. 6244. Not a bad effort. Four guesses left in hand. Could have been worse. So. Thank you for watching. That's the step tool puzzle. Happy uh, birthday, or what would have been, to Maya Angelou. And now go and work out and see if you can also work out why the caged bird sings. Thank you for watching and bye for now.